It's done. The black garlic. It's been out here in our shed for cooking for about 16 days. A couple of days longer than we wanted. We wanted to go about 14 day cycle on this, but I think it's done. We're gonna take it inside and take a look and see what happened, see if it worked, see if it didn't work. We're back inside, much warmer now. I did take a little peek and just to look at it and smell it, it smells amazing. So if you remember part one of this video, I'll link to it up here for you guys. We put this out in our garden shed in this rice cooker uh, about 16 days ago. We used the keep warm setting, none of the cook options. We only used keep warm and we left it out there. Produced a lot of odor, a lot of smell. You could just walk past our, our shed outside and you could smell garlic, smell garlic, smell garlic. But I'm excited and I really wanna show you guys how this turned out, hopefully it did. And uh, we'll pull you in close and we'll take a look and we'll open up one of these gloves and see what we got. So this is what they turned out like. He got a little brown. Uh, there's some moisture and they feel smaller. They don't play no way as much as they did when we originally put them in there. Not that these are very big cloves of garlic to begin with, but it's definitely some moisture. Oh, I see black. They peel apart really easy, way better than, uh, easier than trying to peel normal non-black garlic. They just kind of pop out. What does it feel like? Kind of like a gummy bear. <laughs> I had to describe it. I think we can call this a success. Um, they definitely went a couple days longer than we originally planned. We wanted to go about 14 days because that's kind of what I've, I've read from a recommendation standpoint. But what we'll want to do next, so if you're following along and you're making black garlic with us, uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is pull these out of your rice cooker and just store them somewhere in your house in uh, a nice, cool, dry place. It doesn't have to be necessarily be dark, but I'm sure it wouldn't hurt. Just whole as, as is like this. That'll help to get all the rest of the moisture out of them. After that, after 10 to 14 days, you can throw them in a mason jar, stick them in your fridge, and they'll last anywhere between three to six months. Some people will say even longer. If you want to use some, you want to, you're making some food or you just want to eat one for the health benefits, you can pull this out of your fridge, peel it open, get your little clove out and eat it. But I think we're up to the point now where we actually need to taste this stuff. So I really, really wish YouTube had smell-o-vision because I, I it, this the smell I can't get over the texture I can't get over the smell not in a bad way it doesn't smell bad at all it smells absolutely amazing like I said like it's almost like molasses garlic or something but the taste test time has come um, I got some crackers but I don't think I'm gonna do the crackers I'm just gonna eat it plain straight up my my partner Rachel who was with us for part one of this video is a little under the weather today so she's not gonna get to taste any yeah, oh, what? <laughs> Are you going to taste some anyways? Yes. Here you go. No, I don't want to crack it. Oh, all right. Here, you can try that, and I will taste mine. Mmm. It does taste like a texture of a gummy bear. Mm-hmm. Very sweet. Mmm. It really does almost taste like candy at first. The gummy bear, the inside of the clove is still kind of hard. The outside's really mushy. Mine was soft all the way through. Was it? Yeah, it's nothing like um, eating a raw garlic clove, though. They're sticky. But I like it. So because of their texture, I'm not sure how to use them in recipes and stuff where you normally would chop up raw garlic and throw it in your spaghetti sauce or something like that, but... I'm sure if you sauteed it up in, with some with some shrimp or something like that and some butter, it would be just as good. So success or failure? I think it's definitely a success for us. 
We took raw garlic that we grew in our garden, we put it in a rice cooker, we left it for 14 to 16 days, and we made black garlic. It definitely tastes good. I like how it tastes. We're going to experiment with it over the course of the next couple months. We'll do some recipes with it. I may even eat some from time to time because it really tastes kind of good and it's supposed to be really good for you. Uh, my question, I guess, to you guys is, do you have any ideas for us? Do you have any recipes that you think this might be good in? Um, nice, sweet, garlicky flavor. If you got any ideas, recipes you want us to try with this or things that you've already tried. Maybe you've tried black garlic before and you have some ideas for us. Let us know in the comments. If we get enough ideas, maybe we'll make something for you guys and try it out in a real recipe. I think that's all we got for you today. As always, thank you for joining us. Click that subscribe button if you haven't. And uh, we're always happy to have more people in our family. Bye-bye.